Welcome to Joystick. In this video, you are going to learn to write a Python program to convert a number in decimal system to its hexadecimal form. Before we start coding the program, if you are new to my channel, then hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because that way you won't miss out on these Python coding interview question videos I create. And the playlist of Python coding interview questions is building. You can watch it by clicking on the I button. Now let's begin coding the program. I'll first start the main function within which we'll first take the input from the console. The input is going to be our decimal number. We'll now declare a variable v underscore num and after the equals to sign, we'll write the input function within whose brackets we'll write the message enter the number. And of course, we are going to typecast this input function into integer because input function always returns a string and we want an integer. We want this variable v underscore now to be an integer. Now we are going to create a function and we'll call it f underscore take to hex. This is going to accept one argument n and this will be our integer which we want to convert into its hexadecimal form and within the body of this function we are going to simply write one statement return hex and as its parameter we are going to pass n hex is an inbuilt python method which is used to convert an integer into its hexadecimal form we are going to make a call to this function f underscore take to hex from the main function so for that we are going to declare a variable and we'll call it v underscore hex after the equals to sign we are going to make the function call so it will be f underscore take to hex and as its parameter we are going to pass v underscore num now let's print the value of this variable v underscore hex so within print we will write a message hexadecimal form using hex function is curly brackets dot format and we are going to pass v underscore hex as its parameter now let's run the program and check the output okay so you can see that the program is asking me to enter a number let me enter 10 and i know that the hexadecimal equivalent of 10 is a Let's see if the program prints A or not. All right, so the program prints A, but you can see that A is prefixed with OX as well. And this is getting printed as a result of the inbuilt hex function. So let's remove it. To remove this uh, prefix OX, we are going to make use of the slicing technique. So instead of uh, passing only V underscore hex, we'll pass V underscore hex and within square brackets, we'll write two colon all right we have made use of the slicing technique over here that is going to print all the characters available in this v underscore hex variable from index 2 so let's run the program again and check the output okay i'm going to enter 10 again and let's see if it only prints a this time and there you go it prints a which is correct the hexadecimal equivalent of 10 is a Let's look into the second method which uses the recursion technique. We will have to first create this decimal to the hexadecimal conversion table. For that, we will create a function that we'll call f underscore hex conversion. Okay, I forgot to put the def keyword. And that is also going to accept an integer argument. Within the body of this function, we'll write an if else. So we, it will be if n is less than 10, then we are going to return the string form of n. Else if n is equal to 10, then we are going to return a. Else if n is equal to 11, then we are going to return b let me quickly copy and paste this over here to make it quicker all right so when n is 12 we will return c when n is 13 we are going to return d 
when n is 14 we are going to return e and when n is 15 we will return f you can see if the number is less than 10 then the string form of that number will be returned but if the number is between 10 and 15 then the corresponding alphabet will be returned from a to f now we are going to create another function and we are going to call it f underscore tech to hex underscore 2 this is also going to accept one argument which will be our integer number that needs to be converted to its hexadecimal form now the conventional method to find the hexadecimal form of a number is to keep dividing the number by 16 and then line up the remainders from bottom to top one thing that is clear to us is we need to find out the remainder so we will write n modulo operator 16 okay because we are interested in calculating the remainder by dividing this number by 16 now let's say if the number passed is 78 then the first remainder which we will get by dividing 78 by 16 will be 14 and the quotient will be 4 which will again be divided by 16 to calculate the remainder which is going to come out as 4 hence we will have to pass the quotient in the recursive function call which is why we are going to make the function call again so it is going to be f deck to hex and this time the parameter that we are going to pass will be n divided by 60 and we are going to put a plus sign over here why i put a plus sign over here because we have to line up all the remainders from bottom to top and we can easily do that by forming them by combining them in a string now when the number is 78 then the first remainder we get is 14 and the hexadecimal version of 14 is e and to get e we have already designed a conversion table which is there in this function that we created all right therefore to get the right hexadecimal version we'll pass this particular expression to our function and that function is f underscore hex conversion this n modulo operator 16 will be passed as a parameter to this function of ours f underscore hex conversion which basically contains the hexadecimal conversion table and is therefore going to return the right hexadecimal character now a particular string created by this expression needs to be returned to the previous function call hence we will write over here return we'll have to return the string that's why we have made use of the return statement also we'll have to stop successive recursion calls when the argument that means this n turns zero so when the argument turns zero we are simply going to return an empty string there you go simple blank and this is it we have finished writing the function let's call this function now from the main function thus we will declare a new variable v underscore hex2 after the equals to sign we are going to make the function call so it will be f deck 2 hex underscore 2 and as its parameter we are going to pass v underscore now within print we will print the value of this variable v underscore hex2 so i am going to copy and paste this message over here and we'll do a minor change so it will be hexadecimal form using recursion all right and within format i'll pass v underscore hex2 there you go now let's run the program and check the output all right before moving to run the program i have noticed that i have made a small mistake over here rather than calling the function f underscore take to hex underscore 2 i have made a call to this function f underscore take to hex which is the first function we created so let me rectify it i am going to copy this function's name over here and paste it over here okay so this is now corrected let's run the program and check the output there you go it's asking me to enter the number let me enter 78 
and you can see that the hexadecimal form printed using recursion is 4e which is same as the one printed using the inbuilt python method hex so we can say that the program is working fine with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed the learning you got through this video do subscribe to joystick if you want to grow in python i'll see you in the next video of joystick goodbye and take very good care of yourself